So my name's Bugsy North. Um, I started in the industry probably back in 99 at a miners traineeship at Oakey Creek Number no. 1 up in central Queensland. Worked probably 12 months saving cut and then spent about three weeks underground and then had an inter uh, workplace accident uh, working on the long wall. Got caught up in the long wall chain conveyor and underground for about five hours. Flying doctors cut me out and then flew me down to Brizzy and then in hospital for about six months and out of it and then back out and then back into my life, so yeah. No matter how small or minor the, the incident can be, uh, reporting that can stop a major accident happening later on. If we don't know about something that happens, we can't do anything about it. Um, I think that's really important for people to realise that. I think it comes with, from within the crew. Um, like the person as an individual, we need to gain their trust. Um, that's where your psychological safety comes into it as well. If they don't feel part of the team, they're not gonna re bother reporting anything. And I think if they do report it, they're gonna be in trouble anyway. So we just need to get that whole, as your crews, um, build that trust and they're gonna feel confident speaking up or reporting stuff. If the worker doesn't have that trust um, when they're reporting in, in a supervisor or wherever it's going to, they're not going to bother reporting anymore. I, I think as the leader, like if the report goes to whoever, we need to follow through um, to make sure that something's done about it. Otherwise, no one's going to report anything. Um, we're going to have more accidents and that's where we lose that. It's probably a key factor. If we're not reporting, it's not going to improve the safety, and they go hand in hand. Like I said, you've got to build that trust, and people have to be confident to speak up and report, and that's going to help the safety in the long run. It could be minor, it could be major, it could be near misses. Um, I think we need to report everything. Something that is reported it could be a, a small incident, but it's going to stop something happening later on that could be a major accident or a fatality. Um, yeah, I think how important it is to report, and we need to do it, and we need to start doing it now. Use your risk management tools, and please don't be somebody that thinks that nothing will ever happen to them. Because I was one of those people, I like, we heard the incidents after every shift, you'd hear the incidents, you'd never see what happened after. Um, but I was definitely one of those people, I was like, well, it's not going to happen to me, let's get on and get stuff, stuff done. So.